Why are there big cats like lions and tigers, but no big dogs? When we think of apex predators, big cats like lions, tigers, and leopards often come to mind. They're powerful, solitary hunters, except for lions, and dominate their ecosystems. But why don't we see massive dog species in the same way? Let's break it down into evolutionary, ecological, and biological factors to understand the difference. Number one, evolutionary paths. How cats and dogs differed. Cats and dogs share a common carnivorous ancestor, but they split evolutionary about 55 million years ago. Cats became stealthy ambush predators, while dogs evolved as endurance hunters, chasing prey over long distances. Big cats evolved their size for solitary hunting. Ambushing large prey required strength and power. On the other hand, dogs developed a strategy centered around pack cooperation, where teamwork made size less important. Number two, ecological niches, the role each plays. Big cats dominate ecosystems where being large allows them to hunt bigger animals like zebras, deer, and buffalo. This apex predator role demands strength and size to take down large prey effectively. Wolves and wild dogs evolved to be more versatile hunters. They rely on speed, endurance, and pack strategies to chase down prey over long distances. This makes extreme size unnecessary. They can overwhelm prey with numbers instead. Number three, energy demands. The cost of being big. Larger animals require more calories to survive. Big cats thrive in environments like grasslands and forests with abundant prey. Wolves and wild dogs live in more varied habitats, often with less predictable food sources. Their medium size allows them to adapt to a broader range of prey and survive leaner times. Having a pack also helps canids share the workload, whether hunting or raising pups, reducing the evolutionary pressure to grow larger as individuals. Number four, pack behavior versus solitary strength. Big cats like tigers and leopards hunt alone, which means they need to be strong enough to kill large prey by themselves. Dogs, including wolves and African wild dogs, hunt in packs. Their strength comes from numbers rather than individual size. A group of wolves can take down prey much larger than themselves, like moose or bison, without needing the size advantage of a big cat. Number five, domestication and human influence. Domestication played a huge role in shaping modern dogs. Humans bred dogs for traits like friendliness, speed, or agility rather than size. Even the largest dog breeds today, like Great Danes or Irish Wolfhounds, don't compare to lions or tigers in size. They were bred for specific purposes, hunting, guarding, not to be apex predators. Number six, biology and anatomy. Cats are built for short bursts of power. Their retractable claws, strong jaws, and muscular bodies give them the tools to overpower prey quickly. Dogs are built for endurance. Their non-retractable claws, lean bodies, and stamina make them efficient long-distance hunters, but not suited for the brute force needed by apex predators like big cats. Number seven, exceptions and comparisons. Wolves are the largest wild canids, but they max out at around 150 pounds for the largest subspecies. Compare that to a tiger, which can weigh over 600 pounds. The only large canid in prehistoric times was the dire wolf, which weighed up to 200 pounds. However, even it was much smaller than today's big cats and relied on pack hunting. Number eight, summary. Why big cats exist but big dogs don't. Big cats evolved size and power to dominate ecosystems as solitary apex predators. Dogs took a different evolutionary path focusing on endurance and pack cooperation, which made extreme size unnecessary. The environments, hunting strategies, and ecological roles of each group shaped their size and behavior. So, while lions and tigers roar as the kings of their domains, wolves and dogs remind us that teamwork can be just as powerful as brute strength. If you found this video wild and informative, give it a roar by smashing that like button. Drop your thoughts or questions in the comments like a wolf howling to the pack. And don't forget to stalk that subscribe button to join us on more wild adventures.